Oh hey, well look e there. The other day Unity just released a new version of the Entities package, version 0.51, which brings a much anticipated feature, full compatibility with Unity 2021 LTS. Yes, we no longer need to use Unity 2020 to experience the full might and majesty that Dots has to offer right now. We can now use 2021. So anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this update and kind of what it entails. I'm also going to be going over a few other updates that have been released since the release of 0.50. They're kind of minor updates, so I didn't decide to make a full dedicated video on them or anything like that. So I figured I'd just kind of mention them today. And also in today's video, I want to go over the process of upgrading from 0.50 to 0.51 and talk a little bit about if you should actually do that at this time. Because you know, right now I'm working on a project that's a little bit bigger scope that you all will be seeing very very soon and i'm very excited for you all to see it this is a really cool project um, but anyways i'm not entirely sure if i want to upgrade this one to 0.51 just quite yet um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video also kind of just want to do a little bit of a check-in to just kind of see you know where we're at right now and kind of gauge you know what things are looking like as we move forward to a 1.0 release hopefully next year. Okay, so anyways, let's just jump over to the computer here real quick and just kind of go over, you know, what the things in the change log show for these most recent updates. So we'll just start at 0 0.50 and kind of work our way up. Um, so of course, 0 0.50 was released just a couple months ago, right before GDC back in March of 2022. And it's been a really great update. As you can see, there were a lot of changes added in. I did make another video talking about those changes. But we go to the next one, which is this 0.50.1-preview1. And this was just a fairly minor update. There were a lot of just kind of like little bug fixes and kind of things that were discovered in the um, initial release of 0 0.50. You can see there are a couple um, of these cool little attributes that are added for the iJob entity struct. So you can basically add these attributes on top of your regular iJob entity struct. So for example, you see I have this with all attribute passing in the type of special move tag. That means that basically when we do the default query, so when we don't pass in a specific entity query into our iJob entity, it's going to include this with all in the default query for that. If you don't really know what I'm talking about, I did make a dedicated video on this iJob entity job struct. I do think these are really cool and powerful. I will leave a link to that video if you do want to go ahead and check it out. So you can see there's the, you know, with all, with none, with any, with change filter, and with entity query options. So those are basically, you know, all those things that we can now add to our iJob job entity structs and then mostly just kind of like you know little bug fixes you know changing things removing little things in there nothing really too noteworthy um, and then you can see there were actually two other updates since then that basically nothing had changed in them it just says release preparations no functional changes um, for both the 0 0.51 preview 2 and preview 3 but now we actually come to entities 0 0.51 we now have a new minor version here. And um, so there are some changes in here. Um, the most significant change actually is not listed here. The most significant change being that 0 0.51 basically brings the entities package up to full compatibility with Unity 2021 LTS. Um, so by the way, you do need to be using 2021.3.4 or higher. That is the compatibility level with 0 0.51. Also, you still can use Unity 2020.3.4. 30 and greater. If you still want to stick with Unity 2020 for now, uh, you can upgrade to the 0 0.51 version. But anyways, we can see kind of, you know, some of the other changes. It's mostly just, you know, updating the package dependencies to all the new versions. See, there's kind of some like random little things sprinkled in there, like increase the maximum number of shared components per entity from 8 to 16. So now we can have, uh, so now we can have a whole bunch of um, shared components on our entities, which is, you know, that's neat. And then another one that I wanted to point out which I thought was really cool this um, there's this new buffer type handle dot update method so basically instead of getting a new buffer type handle every single on update call basically we just cache a new one of those in the on create function and then inside the on update function we just call this dot update and instead of creating this whole new buffer type handle it just updates it with the proper values I think this is a really cool efficiency and I would really love to see more little things like this um, just you know small little optimizations especially for little things like this for data that you know we're gonna be accessing over and over and over again for very many frames in a row so anyways those are really all the changes that were listed in there so now I just kind of want to talk a little bit about you know the upgrade process and should you 
you actually upgrade to uh, version 0.51. So I did go through the upgrade process with a couple of my uh, sample projects, basically the same thing that I did when I upgraded from 0.17 up to 0.50. I just took these sample projects that I use that basically you know contain all the projects that I make for all the tutorial videos upgraded those to uh, 0.51, just played through them, made sure they all still worked, and they did. So far, I haven't done actually any development with 0.51. Um, it's basically just me going through the upgrade process, you know, seeing if I could, you know, enter play mode without any errors, and, you know, basically everything worked just fine. Basically, the way that I did this upgrade process is I first upgraded the project to the newest version of Unity, and then I opened that up, and then um, got a couple of errors right off the bat. So some things didn't like, you know, properly compile and stuff like that. So then I end up going to the package manager afterwards, upgrading to 0.51. And I basically had to do that for the hybrid renderer and all the physics packages. Once that finished, then it basically said, hey, we detected that you're now using a newer version of URP and we need to upgrade the materials and all that. So then I just hit okay, it let it rip, it's did its thing. And then I was basically good to go from there. So there was a little bit of things that I kind of had to do from there. Um, looking back on it, I might've kind of done things the other way around where um, I probably actually could have upgraded to 0.51 when I was back in version 2020. And then once I had that all squared away, you know, save off the project, copy it, yada, yada, yada. And then actually go ahead and upgrade the project. And then I probably wouldn't get those same errors when opening the project for the first time. And then I would just basically be prompted right away to upgrade the URP version. Now, the newer version of URP, that's basically the main reason why I would want to actually upgrade the projects that I'm working on up to 0.51. And so I could use the 2021 LTS uh, with the newer versions of URP because there are some features in there, uh, namely decals and some other cool little things in there um, that I really would like to take advantage of in my projects. But unfortunately, I am a little bit hesitant to do it right away. Um, I know there were some people who kind of have were having some issues on the forums and some other people who I've spoken with offline were having some issues and running into just some you know straight up bugs with the uh, newer version of 0.51 so that does have me a little bit concerned and it is making me a bit hesitant to upgrade the you know big bigger project that I am working on uh, up to the 0.51 version because you know development is going pretty well right now on 0.50 and there aren't any like major features that I really need in 0.51, um, it would be really nice to have some of the new URP features that I was mentioning, um, but there are some workarounds that I can kind of, you know, use to work around that. Also, I'm not necessarily at the point of development where I, you know, really need those URP features right now. I can kind of get away with doing some other things for now. And then maybe, you know, if there are kind of some minor updates to 0.51 that fix some of the issues, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Or maybe I'll just, you know, go ahead and, you know, spend a day going through the upgrade process, playing around with it and just seeing what Ever breaks um, because again I didn't really have any issues when I upgraded my other projects you know all the issues that I've seen are just kind of like you know what I've heard from other people so you know I just know that there are some issues out there and that's not necessarily a landmine that I want to step on just right now for you know my main kind of project right now so anyways the last thing that I wanted to talk about here is you know just kind of where we stand right now and where we're looking at towards a 1.0 release now, if I remember correctly, Unity did say that they were going to be giving us a little bit more information about, you know, some more specific information about the kind of roadmap to 1.0, kind of around the same times of this 0.51 release. And at least as of recently, I hadn't seen anything on the forums. Let me see if I can go ahead and just, you know, refresh this here. I'm doing this in real time right now. So don't see any new posts or anything by any Unity employees. Actually, this is interesting. Interesting. Basically, in the forums, it's mostly just kind of users talking. Um, I do see a couple people mentioning some bugs that they've been having, but doesn't quite look like any Unity employees have commented on it just quite yet. Next place to check would be the Unity blog. Not expecting anything here and not seeing anything. All right, and looking at the dots roadmap, I don't think this has quite been updated because it still says that the uh, entity 0.51 is still in progress right now. So hopefully we do hear a little bit more within the next you know, maybe week or two 
if we do, I mean, of course, I'll be making some videos on it because, you know, I feel like that's going to be some like really good information that we can, you know, really dive into and pick apart and, you know, really see what the, you know, road ahead is looking like in towards the 1.0 release. So anyways, with that being said, that's just about it for today's video. Uh, you now have my permission to go ahead and download 2021 LTS download that update your unity uh, entities packages to 0 0.51 play around with it let me know what breaks let me know what bugs you're running into of course if you do have any you know questions that you might run into or suggestions for future videos you can leave those down in the comment section below if you did like today's video I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about unity's data oriented technology stack and their entity component system also come join us over on discord you can get there by going to the url tmg.dev slash discord with that i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one